actually these tools uh you know they're not updated with the site changes because they give us report on the basis of cache okay so cache it takes some times to clear from their data and to get the new results uh, we have to wait it won't yes. show immediately whatever the changes you have made on your website but still okay. let's see uh, okay what, what does it give us today okay page titles we have to uh, page 24 5. we have five uh, pages uh, which are still having issues with page titles uh Hey, tell me that uh, one more time. Let me uh, one second. The pixel you told no. So meta title sixty character five eighty pixel and meta description one sixty character nine twenty pixel. Yes. No. Not not nine twenty. Uh, yes. Yes. Nine twenty. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And one sixty character. Eh? Yeah. I'm just pinging. Just check. Check once and you know. Yes, yes. Um, I think I'm, I always get confused, but let me send you. Yeah, this is what I have. Where have you sent? Yeah, in the in the chat, in the meeting chat. Meeting chat. Yeah, if you open the messenger, no. Maybe you are sharing that, so you're not able to see. Okay. Maybe someone I can check. Haha, ha, yes, you have shared that meta title 60 characters 580 pixel and meta description 160 characters 920 pixels. 920 pixels. Is yes. that correct? Yes, this is correct. Huh? Okay, so so where is that? Uh, is titles over 561? That is okay, right? Base title 561, it should be 580, right? Well, uh, let me check for these pages. How much is it on live? Uh, we can't. We have no, to check is... from different sources. So let's oh, this is again, you know, the blog posting we did recently. Maybe that's the reason. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can skip that, right? Let's see the other uh, big items. I mean, that's the blog actually. Okay. Oh, let's move on. This is the uh then we have three pages on ne next one you... also next one is also post the 60 character one uh yes yeah, this, this is a leave also... it. Uh, the yeah. blog one leave it and the third one third 30 character join us page so what is that this title below 30 character yes oh yes title okay that we can take care then okay We'll take care. Okay, content low, we know. Uh, okay, so what are the other big issues? Content low, I think we know. Okay, uh, then we have uh, missing H2. Uh, this is in blog. Uh, like, on particularly on the blog landing page, this issue comes yeah. up. So it's uh, no big deal. No so okay. moving on, on the meta description missing. Uh, you have two pages. That is also oh, a blog think, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is the same link. Yeah. Then, These are the blog posts with the uh, meta description missing. Uh, yes. Description. Is it the title description? Man? Yeah, meta title, meta description that you, uh, you know, edit from SEO basics in the mm -hmm. settings. Over here, you can see the description is missing. Okay. okay. And the title is 74 characters. You can see it is very long. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> that is take care. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then URL uppercase. Okay. You must have blog at the has Blog? I don't know how it is coming. Uh, your URL is good to go. You must have put an under uppercase 
previously, but now you have corrected it. So that is okay. good to go. Uh, then H2 duplicate. So oh, you have to you off. you have to change the title of your H2 headings. You can't just keep it same in okay. one page. Okay, I mean those are all blogs. Huh? Okay, fine. Yes. Uh, uh, the page title which are same as H1 header tag. These are the same links. I think uh, you have to check these links, these two links, okay. and correct all the issues. Because in every issue, only these two pages are coming. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Okay, I can, I can check. Uh, then URL are over 105 correct. So this is a, I think, this is the first time we are coming up. We are facing this issue. So let me show what is it. So comparing with other links, as you can see, this URL is very long, right? Uh, it is going on and on. So uh, URL, for URL, there is a limit. Uh, so we have not created a separate URL. It has been generated by weeks only, right? Hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but I think uh, Wix took the title of your article. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This is the title mm. of your article, and Wix took it on automation. Uh, so you have to correct it. So we have to reduce the size, huh? Yes. Oh, you have to that's... keep your keyword and the essential information, which makes sense related to your article. So I have to change only the heading, right? That whatever the no, not page. heading. You have to change the URL. This one. So it's a automatically taking, right? Yeah. Yes. You can uh, edit it from your WordPress when you will scroll down to your uh, Yoast SEO dashboard. Okay, over there you will be able to edit it. Uh, no, I mean not WordPress. I mean Wix, right? Oh yes, Wix, Wix. Uh, on Wix, you will see the side menu, and when mm. you will go in the SEO section and on to the basic settings, you will be able to edit it. Oh, I see. I got a point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can just quickly check that. Uh, I think I got it. So basically, uh, uh, Shamana, last time we updated that survey to join us, right? Where we changed mm. that in the same place, I believe, right? Mm. Yes. Similar place, I believe. Yes. Maybe I can check it quickly. Let's see if that my assumption is correct. Your join us page was uh, like your join us page. Yeah, URL was a uh, survey. And right. then we and changed you know, from survey to join us. So the same <coughs> way you are saying to change it, huh? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. For art, for blogs. For blogs. Okay, let me see very quickly if that... Mm -hmm. That is what it is happening. Hmm. It's taking time to open. Hey, I sent the thousand bucks. Did you get it, Osama? Did you check? Uh, wait. Blog. Manage space, then blogs. Okay. Yes, I have received. Forgot. Okay, great. So, in the it, it is coming in the post, right? Uh, this, this yes, post. Post. Okay. So, post SEO basics. If you can share your screen. Yeah, sure. Huh. Yeah, I'm sitting. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So somewhere, what is the issue? The in the post somewhere the SEO right in the SEO basics right? Yes. Yes. Uh, and actually, uh, the blog posts you cannot uh, optimize your blog post from here. You have to go to dashboard. 
does word uh, meaning here yes yes yeah and in, uh, in the left side you can see blog hmm. mm. okay now posts okay okay now uh, in the three dots yeah edit okay now in the left side uh, seo from there you can change here hmm click on that okay uh okay scroll down go to mm -hmm. basics and then scroll down okay yeah hmm yeah, this is the URL slug. Yes, this is the one. Oh, <laughs> I see. So yeah. I can make it like this ILTS and TOEFL like that, right? I think uh, it is still. Uh, this is your uh, uh, no. keyword. Yes, I, I, mm, ILTS, ILTS and, and TOEFL. Uh, TOEFL, and, yeah, mm, those are keywords. Maybe I can give examination or as Or well. you can uh, you can keep master the IELTS and TOEFL examinations or exam. That will be it. Hmm. <coughs> exam. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, and you can uh, keep master. You can also take help uh, from Chat GPT. Like uh, you can uh, give the your blog title, mm -hmm. uh, ask to suggest uh, you know good URL. So oh. it, yeah, it will give you the optimized URL. So you are saying like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can just uh, write like uh, this is the blog title and suggest me uh, SEO URL or good url this is block title uh, give me hmm. this your url yes this your url or good url whatever yeah hmm. mastering mastering i use for exam tips Mastering. So this, this is good, huh? Yes. Wow. Like this, huh? Mm, yes. yes. Okay. <coughs> so I can save it, huh? Uh, you can publish it actually. There is one more, I think. Let's do that. Meta description. Here. Yes. So, yeah, for meta description also, you can ask ChatGPT to suggest meta description within 160 characters. <clears throat> also write uh, within 920 pixels hmm. okay uh, within uh, 160 160 uh, and 920 pixels hmm, wow. awesome. hmm. Necessary call. Okay. Uh, please copy this and paste it on the tool I have shared you once. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Uh, you mean that mongoose or something, right? Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Do you want me to shift it again? Uh, yeah, I'll just ping uh, it. I have it, I guess. Mongoes. I've just shared it. Have it. Okay, good. Thank you. 
Now paste the meta description below. Below, below, this is the title section. Yeah. This is a description. Okay. Um, this is a little high. Uh, uh, delete yeah. the comprehensive word. Okay. Now hmm. delete get started today. Hmm. Okay. Now you can use this. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay, so that is one and the now this is the next one. Huh? Yes. Let's see. Uh, uh, basics. Okay. This is the URL. Mastering the SAT maze. Okay. Okay. So similarly. That mastering a city, yes. Oh, this is okay, I believe. I think Roy Academy, we can leave it, right? That's the one, and then I think some description. URL and this one. Experience as a crucial role of, I think I can make it maths, right? Yeah, maths uh, in the in US. Oh, you can do it, so, yeah, that will do. So, uh, join us, something like that. Maybe. I can change it later, but for timing, I'm okay with this. That's it, right? Yes. Okay, this is a good one. So, what what are the other issues it was showing uh, in the blog page? Because blog page is related, we're related to meta title and description. Hmm. What are the other issues are showing in the blog page? I think I told that let's ignore, but I think it is a little different than the other pages, right? In the blogs. Um, you have corrected the URL and then there is a multiple duplicate H2 heading. Uh, in the blog, eh? Yes. So for that I have to go here or? Uh, first, uh, check. let's check your blog if there is a duplicate heading. So you are saying, you let's can, go to. Yeah, 
You could open the live blog. Blog. And here. Yeah, open uh, one of the blogs. No, no, not this one. Uh, oh, I think you haven't uh, selected the heading tags. Open the, oh, you happen to open the blogs, right? Open one of the blogs. This one. Yeah. Okay. Now check the SEO meta at the top. Yeah. Go to headers. This is okay, right? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, close this one. Uh, now uh, scroll down. Uh, you haven't, uh, you know, selected any H2 heading tags. Uh, if you will see the SEO meta, there is H1 and then there is a, a recent post directly. There is nothing in the middle. There is no other topic h1 and h2 huh? yeah so this is incorrect you have to give uh you know add the subheadings as h2 in the blog oh so this should be a paragraph eh? i made it h2 no 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 oh. this this should be paragraph the uh the paragraph should be targeted as paragraph and when you are having a see over here you have to give spaces between the sections as well if you are completing the introduction part and you're coming up on the next uh explanation on your topic you have to give some space it will increase your readability score of your blog as well i see so uh sorry say one more time what are the action items so this one is okay or this one is okay once you have uh, given the introduction part you have written the introduction part you have to give a space before you carry on with your topic okay once so space where between these and these or these and... no 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 no. Uh, if you will see uh we are here to help you unlock your potential and achieve success uh one two three four five six seven after seventh line after seventh line three yeah. four yeah achieve right. success achieve success uh, mm -hmm. here, here. Yeah, after achieve, achieve success, you have to uh, uh, give a space and uh, space. Okay. Yeah, because the paragraph so is being changed. Here, here. I have yeah, to... yeah. Uh, okay. The paragraph is being changed, so you have to give some space. Uh... This is uh, this is another blog. This is not the one which you have opened on live website. Oh. This is sat maze, and that one is. Mathematics, I think. Oh, I read this one. Yeah. Yeah, over here you have to give space. Like this? Yes. Uh, now scroll down. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly. No, 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 no. Uh, go up. Um, then there is. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, like this yes um but uh let scroll up um not able to see the h2 where it would should be uh, so it doesn't have any is... h2 this is h1 i believe uh, one minute. how to yeah. check it yeah this is, this is the h2 in which it is being merged as a paragraph uh, you can see the second paragraph uh the significance of ielts and TOEFL. You can see the start of the paragraph, hmm. the significance after the, oh, what do you call that dotted Colon. symbol? Colon. Yeah. Colon. Colon. Uh. You have to give a uh, enter, hit enter once more. Yeah. Now uh, delete the colon. Yeah. Up to L. Yeah. Uh, uh, you have to mark it again. Hmm. Mark the significance of highlights and TOEFL. Go as you can see in the top menu. You will see paragraph hmm. written just beside. Yeah. Open it. Now Make select H two. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah so like this you have to select your h2 headings oh yes now you have to make sure that there are h3 headings now let me explain how to uh, you know choose which one is h1 h2 and h3 so h1 is your main topic the main title whichever is the title of your blog it will be h1 okay after that if your title is breaking down into subheadings the subheadings will be h2 and if any of those subheadings are breaking down into more headings then those headings will be h3 Oh, I see. So you are saying within the blog also we have to consider yeah h yeah one h i two. can see a lot of h3 uh, uh, and h2 Yeah. I see. yeah uh, did you uh, generated it uh, this from chat gpt or written it by your own Mm, it's a mix actually. okay okay that's why if you will if you would have been used chat gpt it give you the whole uh, you know format so it will be easier for you to differentiate which one is h2 and h3 So I have to tell Chat GPT that uh, you gave me in the SEO format with proper heading or what no 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 what's it in the it format. no no you don't have to mention it it generally gives in a good, very good format uh, so you don't have to hit Oh. enter and make spaces between the paragraphs Oh, I see. Really? Okay. yeah Got you. Okay. Okay, I'll do some R&D. Good to know. yes yes So, and maybe next time we'll come back to this. yeah Okay. Hmm. So, now can we check the SEO ability? Let's see. Oh, once so much. It gives... Ability. Yes, ability. you're doing a site audit on this platform Yeah, I mean, after the change, let's see how much it is <laughs> doing. okay So... Analyze. Still seventy six. How much it? Uh, how much it will make it green? More than eighty, eighty five. You know. There is page quality, which is at 70%. Page structure, which is related to your heading tags. Uh, link structure is good. Server and external factors. They have not mentioned uh, what is it in server and external factors. So I can't say, but it must be related to your technical SEO. Uh, okay, uh, what to do? So, so maybe I can try to improve the blog things, right? And then I can see Yes, it was seventy yes. eight actually, but now anyway. So, what are the other major issues? You can share your screen again, please. Yeah, my suggestion to you would be to not uh, just check it generally on these tools, uh, like Hmm. what is the score of your pages, but uh, don't depend on it. If it is 76 today, even if you haven't made any changes to, uh, you know, um, to make it better or worse, it will give you a different percentage the next day if you will check Oh, it I again. see. Yeah. I see. Because their main motto is to give you a report no matter which link you are putting in. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now moving on. Yeah, Uh, so you share your are... screen. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Can you see my screen now? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we were at this part, you were... 115 characters now uh, images missing all text so this is the one and then content re readability difficult this missing is the all same text. can you go to the missing all text the issue what if this uh, is 
Uh, these are not the pages. This is oh, actually these are the, the picture the ID. Pictures. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, and these are the images. Where are they? Who is uh, where are those pictures? Can I get it or no? Yes, yes. Uh, you have to go to your media library. No, that I know. I'm saying from the report. Can I know that what is the no? You, like yeah. Mm. Oh, that is the problem. Huh? No, you, you you have to just it. see your picture and you have to you know check manually where is this yeah, yeah, image and then yeah. you have to put okay yeah. makes sense okay what's the next uh, uh, then Mr. this Roy is a actually i'm getting uh, another call so you guys uh please continue okay okay yeah oh uh, now next is uh content readability difficult on these two yeah. pages why us and this is the blog islets and tofil one so i was just mentioning it earlier that it will improve your readability score once you have corrected all those mistakes oh, so readability okay. difficulty is there as well makes sense okay um now h1 which is over 70 characters so again two of the new blocks the h1 is very long oh, you have to okay. keep it short and uh, why else also we have one h1 okay 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 yeah that we can yeah. check it with. sad okay. and i'll send also and then coming up security h2 70 characters okay what is that 70 characters H2. check which one is this which is showing home on the... base, right? it was in home yeah. base yeah. yeah h2 oh this must be it this is the oh. longest h2 oh, okay, okay. Okay. So this is the one. So Mona, please mute yourself. Okay. So yeah, this one I think we can update. Okay, perfect. Uh, so this is it. Uh, this has been gone. Okay. So now next one I want to see is uh, rotate actually. Last time, you know, we there was a oh, video we, issue from GS. Yeah, video. Hey, you 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 told you'll send me that checklist. Just send me the checklist. We'll see how much you can take. The SEO checklist, right? The SEO checklist, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a minute. But, uh, what is a non-descriptive anchor test? Can you show me once? <laughs> non-descriptive index and non-descriptive anchor text. I think these two you told you'll links which are not very uh, descriptive uh, once i will go on the page on the live page i will be able to show you uh, if there is one okay. on your yeah. i mean if you just show one no and then okay. we can check okay. the link uh, check uh, the screaming fog mm. page titles Content security H2 missing up a place here. Okay, over here. Hmm. The services part. Okay, uh, so this is the internal linking which you have done. You know, get started. You have internal internal link with join us page. Over here in the learn more button, you have internal link with students page. Over here, you have internal link with IT professionals. So these are the uh, non-descriptive. Like if as per crawler, if he's reading learn more and you are redirecting it to IT professionals, it doesn't make sense to to a bot. If you would have put the link between the paragraphs. So, so, so how, how do you know it is re redirecting to IT? Can you show me? I'm just hovering here. Oh, and hovering in, see, in the bottom. Yeah, in the yeah. bottom. Yeah, yeah. So, um, according to bot, this doesn't make sense, but to you, but to a human, it will make sense. If we would have uh, added the link over here, any where in the paragraph then this uh you know this is an opportunity if you will see this is not a warning or a issue over see you you can 
see this is written opportunity okay so we have to ignore this uh, because this is a bot which has crawled your website and giving us this uh, data so there are no other links i can see on this page so this must be it and you can ignore this because according to a human uh, this is correct and you have to build your website according to human not for bot mm -hmm. All right. okay so non descriptive so i mean what it means non descriptive anchor text like um the link which you have added on the word it is not describable like you are trying to redirect uh, users whoever will click, click on this button to it professionals page but over here it is written just learn more so oh. internal link how it works uh, suppose uh, you have a training module page on your website and you have added the link over here, our training modules. So it will make sense that you are adding the link to that page on where uh, you will be talking about training module. And over here, you have mentioned our training module. Mm, okay. So this is how it will make sense. Got it. Okay. 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 Uh, let me check the SEO checklist. Uh, give me a minute. You can send it later also after the call, but okay. uh, can you go to that uh, Google search console? Yeah, you can share your screen. Uh, okay. We have the Google search consoles, right? Oh, let me open it as well. So, so okay. you want me to share, right? No, no, I have it. Okay. I think we. I gave you. Gave you the permission. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, here I have it. Okay, now video pages, video mm -hmm. not indexed, right? Okay. I think she was Which... trying to generate some code or something, right? Last time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this one, yeah. Okay, this is on the YS page, right? Okay. Okay, so over here, you can see why this video is not indexed. This is the reason video is not the main content of the page. Mm. Okay. Now, what does this mean? You have added a video. Okay. So you have added a video on why us page. Okay. And this video is about our view on students performance. Let's if you will click on it. our views on students performance improvement so you can see that this video is not related to your ys page how is it like in the ys page if you were making a video you should make a video about your business how you are giving services okay what is the impact on your students okay so have, you have to make a video on a topic like this but you have made the video solely on our views on students performance improvement okay the video should reflect about your business as well and why people should choose you so that is the reason the video is not the main content of the page video is not uh, you know relatable to the content which you on which you are submitting this video this why us page okay Okay, so I have to change the name of the video. The top, I mean, the no, 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 you have to change the content, you have to make a new oh, video. The Google Search Console is talking about the main content, right? If you oh, would have, so they are reading the content also, yeah, yes. Wow. So, uh, now you will see if you would have any tool, any student performance improvement tool, or how we, um, you know track our students performance on that page if this video would have been embedded that it will be good but on the ys page it doesn't make any sense that oh. is the reason the page is indexed but the video on that page is not indexed so that is a kind of intelligence that google is bringing eh? they are yes yes reading the content but this is ai is far uh, you know okay. we are we are not able to grasp the situation what is happening on the other side of technology okay. so this is it on and only one of the pages is affected i think this is the only video on your website 
so no, there is one more in the home page so then home page video is good yeah home page let me see okay so you will see let me open this yeah so this is as you can see you are giving a about us this is the about us video of your business and you have kept it on the home page so this is good Mm. you are talking about your business what is it what is Roy academy and you have embedded this on your uh, home page so this is good to go yes good then so you can delete the video from ys page or you can make a new video and then replace it okay okay makes sense that i can do okay so you want to go to the search console and show me what are the other issues yes uh video issues are done so whatever the seos i'm doing in the weeks and changing the alt text etc the lane pixel mm. that is mm. technical seo or that is what uh what changes have you made so every changes is going in a different category so for uh meta title and meta tags that comes on to on page whatever okay. uh whatever changes is visible to a user that will be on page if you're making any changes on the content on the meta title description if it is readable by a user it will be on page okay whatever okay. changes you are making on the back end related to your page uh let's say it's speed or its technicality it will come in the technical part of SEO. Yeah. what about the alt text whatever alt text we are doing that is also on page or technical all text is technical okay because all text is for the crawlers because mm. crawlers are not able to read the graphics or any media okay so they want something uh, which they can read okay so okay. for them we have to include the alt text so they can read and understand what is the media is about mm -hmm. yeah now coming up on the my pages are not indexed okay okay one of the pages has been blocked by robot.txt Hmm. This is a light box something. Are you? Yeah, so this one we deleted. So okay, deleted. Deleted and then we fixed it last time. But still, again, why it is re uh, Like uh, you have deleted the page from your website. Now you and have the light box it. option. <clears throat> well, I mean, I think someone deleted it last time. Okay, so what do you want with this page? Do you want it to be deleted from the website, or do you want to keep it? I mean, it is already deleted. Okay. You don't see the so, light box anymore. Okay. So I think this is good. If it is blocked by robot.txt, it is good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, page with redirect. Same as Screaming Frog, all the, uh, mm. you know, whatever is coming up on this page mm. is opportunity, is an issue. And is a warning as well. So for opportunity, you have to see it as an opportunity, not as an issue. Hmm. Same as on Google Search Console. Okay, Google is very, you know, how do I say? It will make people confused, okay? For starters, okay, for beginners, even I was when I was doing SEO uh, for the first, second and first and second year, it was very confusing for me. Uh, hmm. So with page with redirect, this is not an issue. Google is just giving us the information that some of the pages on your website are redirected. For example, if you will see all the pages are for Roy for success homepage. Okay. Hmm. Now, what is the difference? Over here, we have HTTPS. Over mm. here, we have HTTP and over mm. here, we have HTTP www dot. All the mm. three links are a little bit different from one another. Okay. okay. So if any user will click uh, or write on Google Chrome in the URL bar, any of the links in any format, it will mm. redirect it to your mm. homepage. So this yeah. is what it is in trying to tell us. Well, yeah. So I have opened all the three links. You, if you can see, all the three links are open to your home page. Good. Okay. okay. So this is not an issue. This is just an information. What the changes you have made. 
so that is the uh, Oh, okay. yeah so Okay. you can ignore this we can do the validation um, Okay, validation has been started. So, skip it. Now, discovered currently not indexed. Okay, check the pages. Okay. Team. Team actually, it should not be a valid one. We don't have any web pages like team. So what is it, what it is saying about team? Yeah, let me open it. This is the team page. But it should not be. Uh, So we you can might delete have it. Eh? deleted from the menu of your website, but not from your backend. So Google has your data. If you want to delete it, I can remove it from your website. And if it is there, is it a problem? No, there is no problem. Uh, but if it is... Uh, It is not affecting because every page is to its own. It doesn't impact the whole uh, website. Okay. Okay. Leave it then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we can ignore this page. Yeah. Coming Just on the blog. tell me the problematic one. Yeah. No. Check. Okay. Oh, this page is not here. So what does this mean? Discovered but currently not indexed. This means that Google has discovered these pages. Okay. That, that is the reason it is. Got it. Okay. Okay. But currently not indexed. Why Google has discovered our pages but not indexed is Mm because -hmm. of the poor quality of the content. Okay, Google just don't go and index all the pages on every website. Right, Okay, right. so it has to, the page has to have some credibility, some information, which is uh, in a positive way is good to Google for the users as well. If users are searching for the content, the one which you have on your website, Google will index. If it has the credibility, if it has the quality and the right information. Okay, over here in this page, in the thank you page, uh, like this is thank you for your registration, but it doesn't have any other content. Uh, mm Okay. -hmm. I think this is okay because it is Yeah. a kind of uh, when people Thank register, you page. they not be, yeah. Yeah. But for the blog page, you have only written, we explore, compile and share knowledge to our blogs. Okay. So we have to add more content. What type of blogs are you going to upload on your website okay you can create categories for your blogs so it will be more uh, you know uh, Uh, I see. this is more like a straightforward way so you have to keep it uh, uh, you know in a block section and manage all your block categories for I ILS see. and TOEFL and then there is How how sad we create category in the weeks? Uh, in the block, you have the manager weeks. We don't have the access to your uh, website, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, he has the access. Maybe I can open and let's see. Uh, let me share. Okay. Yeah. Just So, for your knowledge, uh, we have only eight minutes left for can one you minute. continue today? One more hour? Yes, okay. Okay, then. So, yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. So we are saying that how to create a blog category, right? That's what we are saying. So here Yes. is a blog page. You have to Open. go to categories. Go to categories. Categories, okay. Five post. Okay. Uh, now So new category. Click on new post. category. So we have to create a category. Yeah, over here uh, you can 
create the title, a description, and the image as well. Oh, then under that I can create my blog. Eh? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to create. Uh, you once. Uh, the okay. normal way, uh, as you have right now, the way you are making blogs. Uh, go going to the new post section. Uh, once you are ready with your blog content, everything is good to go. There will be categories in the side menu. You just have to go and select your category. Oh, uh, okay, got it. I I learned to that. Okay, that makes sense. So you are saying we should have category. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and uh, one more thing actually you guys told me last time is that the um, let's say services or anywhere I go uh, you told that advanced page, right? In the advanced page uh not advanced space i'll tell you okay seo basics advanced seo sorry so okay. you guys told that we have to do something here want to discuss it this time what i need to do here i think she Where? told so i'm not told actually that in the structure okay. uh, like this this is the robots meta tag if um you want some page uh, you can click it and so can you uh, uh, Start from the beginning, structure, data markup, what I did to do. Okay. Uh, this is, is on automation in Wix platform. You don't have to add it by your own. The Wix platform add the structured markup data as per the page. If you are uploading a blog, it will upload the article markup data. So no, the, here it is not blog, right? It is services. Non-blog, I mean... This is this is not blog, right? No, this is not blog. This is a service page. Correct. Um, you have to services uh, site menu. Services. Okay. Oh, uh, do one thing. Pages. I'm not able to. Um, not sure if this is for the service pages or if it is showing us in general. Everywhere it is there and see told that we will discuss this later. We have to do something. Mm, okay. If it is for the service pages, then your structured everywhere data is, is there, not updated. Actually. Yeah, if yeah. you go now, everywhere you will get it. SEO. A6. And you see structured data, add new markup. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, showing us to add a new markup. So I have to check. Let me check from back end if no structured data is there. Let me give me a minute. Or maybe next time also you can tell. See, see it all actually. See, you'll explain. See, is there around or no? No, no, no. She has gone on a different call. It will just take a minute. Uh, okay. So Okay, I think uh, the structured data is not there for the service page. Not able to see. Uh, there is another tool uh, where we can check. If you want, you want to share? share the link. Yeah. yeah, share it. No, no, you share it. Let's see. Okay.
so this does what this too this will check the if you have structured data on this page or not what do you mean by that structured data oh uh, no items detected so we have to add the structured data for this page meaning what how to add structured data oh uh, so you have we have a tool where you can create the structured data let me show you this is the tool hmm. uh, so for example we are going to the service page right okay so this will be the service page over here this is the code you can see mm -hmm. okay now so we have to add provider name location type we have to fill out this small information form and on the basis of this whatever i will write here now uh, suppose provider name or Success. Roy Academy, you can mention Roy Academy. Roy Academy. Over here, you can see uh, the code is being made in real time. So this is how, uh, you know, if even if you're non-coder, you just have to fill up this form and the code will be ready. Once the code is, code is ready, okay, you can just copy this code and you have to go to your VIX uh, dashboard onto the page and upload your structured markup data. So, yeah, can you do one and see? Okay. Uh, so we are doing for the service page. Okay. Education, yeah, maybe you can mention education. Location type online. Uh, what is this? Location type. Entertainment business. Not nothing is applicable to me. No, no, no. This is um, what type of location you have. Is it a food event or you are you giving your business from a location to location? So sports activity location, work location. Mm, okay. Is it free tool or what? Yes, this is a free tool. Okay. Uh, just the to provider give... address. You address. have to... Give address Dallas, Texas, or something like that. This one, right? Yeah, I can, I can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, just put $10 or something. Yeah. Telephone. Take the first one, yeah. This tool is free or what? Yes, this is free. Okay. Provider price, price range. Huh? Okay. So we are going for the service page, okay. Okay, we have, I can't copy this link, uh, the image link, right? The right click is disabled on your website. So you are creating this structured data for which page? For the service page.
so oh you are doing it temporarily from your console eh? no no i'm doing the permanent one i mean it will be posted on server no on your wix platform yes it will be posted how come i mean uh... what no how, how you are doing that i mean you are in a website right just website isn't it no no i have to open the coding oh you open the wix uh, i mean using that uh, access right whatever access yeah, i gave yeah. you okay. yes I want the image link. Oops. Okay, let's see if it is doable without the image URL. Okay, application. application. Okay. Oh my God. Perfect. Does it have a string? No, it's gone, huh? Yeah, I was not logged in. But this one is not clickable right now. Everything is okay. Geo coordinate is there. Geo radius. This one is copied. Show me from the beginning where I need to paste so that yes, yes. No, you will be pasting from your end. I'm just uh, sharing it with you. Oh, message is too long. Okay, I'll share on our website. Okay, so you are sending through WhatsApp? Yes, yes. On the Zoom chat, the message is very long. It won't go. Oh, so yeah, WhatsApp is fine. I, my WhatsApp is open in my laptop also. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, give me a second. Okay, so you sent it. Okay, so this code, let me bring to my laptop. Uh, where is that? Okay. No, let me share my screen. You see my screen, right? It is loading. Your screen is not visible as of right now. This is it what is... I copied from you. Yeah. Yeah. Will be there. Will be there. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now I copied it. Now I go to weeks. And where I will go? Add new markup. Uh, no, no, on the on the same on the same screen. Yeah. Uh, uh, go to services. Server? Yeah. Go to services. Open SU basics. SU basics advanced. Yeah. Now structured data markup. Structured data markup. Add, Add a new markup. markup. Yeah. Just your code. Yes. And what, what about this? Organization markup. Like uh, you have to. Give the service page markup. Like this? Yeah, so service page markup data or structured data you can write. Just write structured data. That will be easy. Structured like this? Yeah, yeah. So what Based. is doing actually this structured data? So this structured data is for the crawlers. Okay, crawlers can read the normal text as well. But since earlier all the websites were made on purely coding, so uh, this helps them to understand the page structure and content better than the normal text because they are designed to understand these code better than the normal text. So we have to, this is, for enhancing the you know content quality to give more information to Google. If Google mm. is uh, understanding better, then it mm. is good for your uh, website and it will apply on uh, you know mm -hmm. when your page will be visible on the search results. When it will be ranked, then structured data markup will also show. Now, how it will show if uh, you have added the services section, okay. Um, or for any recipe, okay. Uh, I have to show you how structured data. Comes. Yeah, how how I'll realize it that okay, it is really worked. Yes. Uh, well, Google. Uh, once you have uh, submitted the structured data, it doesn't give you uh, uh, you know, a guarantee that your structured data will be visible. Let me show you screen. Okay. How structured data comes up. Okay. Uh, I don't see. See, none of the pages have, um, I don't know if they have updated just or their structured data, but still, okay. Yeah. Uh, this part, this people also ask is kind of a structured data. Uh, like if you have uh, these questions, these questions are, uh, this is from career found dry. Okay. Now this is from sort of gene. Now, this question is from Simply Learn. Okay, so all the questions are from different website and Google has picked it 
because according to google this is important this is what google is, uh, this is what google users are searching for okay so if they have the structured data faq structured data okay so their faq questions will come up over here in the people also search section people also ask section so this is how it works even if you have some questions uh, related to your users if you have put it at the bottom of your page or at the bottom of your blog okay it doesn't necessarily mean that google will pick it up and show it here okay it has to have some credibility and quality and it should relate to the topic no okay it depends on depends on several factors and we don't know which is what so it is up to google if he is going to take our content and show it on the on the rich results page or not i say okay so it's a very long strategic yeah. thing eh? it is you will not yeah. see it immediately okay Let me show you in the images how it looks. Okay, over here you can see uh, brotherusa.com. This is the, I think they're selling a printer. Over here mm -hmm. we have an image and over here we can see the rating and reviews and the price and in stock. So how this information is coming up on the search result, this is because of uh, schema marker beta. Even mm -hmm. when we were doing it, we put the price right over here. Mm -hmm. So this is how uh, we did it. So we have put the price, we have put the phone number. Uh, if you will go, uh, wait, I'm getting a call from Sumona to mm -hmm. tell her to join. Hello. Uh, uh, so Mona, join the meeting. We are still in the meeting. Yeah. So let me show you for the product one. In the product one, you will see that the Google is asking for the uh, ratings as well. So over here, you can see the aggregate rating value. This is the number of ratings. Highest value added, lowest value added. You can add a review as well. Okay, mm -hmm. the rating, the publisher, the date and author and everything. And this will show here as... So how I use this website, this easyschema.com? It is very simple to use. You, you just go and log in and you have to... The main thing is hmm. the page for which you are going to making the schema data, you have to know its name. Like, is it a product page? Is it a recipe page? Uh, oh, for mobile okay. SEO, it is different. So you know my SEO. pages, right? My page has the services uh, and the students IT, very simple, right? And the contact us, etc. So then, what I I use for structured data? I think we can go for organization only. That is the common. Uh, organization <laughs> will be for the home page, home right? Page, we are yeah. talking about the separate service pages. So for service pages, you can choose the product one. Mm. So over here, you can add the product descriptions, uh, then offer type, URL, price currency, then price. We have all the information and then you can add a review if you got any from any of your students. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so go up schema name. Schema name would be product. Huh? Yes. Okay. So you this won't go. This, this won't go in the code. This is just for saving the data. Oh, okay, okay. So you created one for service, right? Yes, for the service page. Service page created one. Okay. Yeah. On you can use uh, this again and include for your other services as well. Oh, okay. Yes. And then you will include into the... Uh, so for home page, what I can do? You are saying we can do something organization. Can we do something yes. like that? Yes. Yes. Home page mm -hmm. is important for me. See, this is the one I was talking to you about, the FAQ page. If you will add yes. this to your FAQs, Google might pick up your questions and put it in the people also ask sections. 
So I have to create a FAQ page. Uh, not generally. If you have FAQs on yeah, your I have blog FAQ page, under 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 uh, student uh, under IT service, we have FAQ page section. Yeah, yeah. Then over there we can add the FAQ page schema marker. Okay. And this is the local business. So, so what I do, let's say I have under student, I have some FAQ page that what uh, subjects, what price, etc. we have. Okay, so here is the question and the answer. You just have to put the question and the answer, then again, put another question and answer. So this is simpler than the one we did before. And you oh. just have to copy the code and paste it. Can you, can you go to my website? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Go to uh, student page. Student page. Uh, under services. Okay, in the service also fine. In the service, if you scroll down a little bit, yeah, okay. this one, this one, this this one. Yeah. Okay. So these are the some. Can you can you create something? Go top. Go top. But there are no questions and answers. No, no. Go, go up. Go up. Go up. There are. Yeah. Okay, you see this one. This one, What's yeah. Okay. Can you copy paste this and create a meta structured data? Uh, these questions are directly reflecting your codes. Okay, this is not reflecting in general uh, related to your, uh, you know, oh. IELTS or SAT. If you will see the examples oh. which I shown. Uh, those were for. Um, I see. Uh, so you are saying that is a very generic one. Yes, yes, the one. Uh, so I just searched marketing courses. Okay, mm -hmm. and over here we are getting the course. Which course is best for marketing? What is marketing as a course? What training is required for marketing? So these are in general terms. Mm -hmm is marketing a future career so this is how it goes but your questions are directly related to your own product so google so, so. won't show it on the search results oh i see okay hmm. okay got you yeah, yeah. Just so, me that yeah. so now uh, one minute. Uh, so, sir, we just uploaded the services page schema and over here. I ran the test again and now two valid items are detected. You can see. Oh. Okay. So, now it is good to go. Only non-critical issues are there. So, we can ignore it. Okay. Over here, you can see the missing field was image. I was not able to get the URL and that is why we kept it oh. empty and it's showing the missing field image. Okay. I see. Okay. So everything is crystal clear. So related to this now. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sumana, what were you saying? Yeah, I was saying that I have shared with you the schema code for both a uh, service page, uh, for uh, uh, services and uh, IT professional. The, this is the customized uh, schema code. Like you can check if you go to. Uh, huh. uh, this is for the. Uh, where they will this is for the home for, page right for both no for both service page uh for students and it professionals page i have shared you both uh two schemas uh, two, two schema codes. so okay. did you email did you send it uh no actually uh, uh, yeah please forward it uh to the Roy group yeah both Okay, maybe I can import it right in the code. You can just really copy the code and paste it in that settings. Okay. Hmm. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, I got one right. You we have sent two. Two? Okay. Cool. Let me do that. Huh? Give me a second. So yeah, this is a good one. I like this. Okay, so let me share my screen then. Yes. Let me copy the code into a notepad first and give me a second.
okay this is the first one this is the second okay so this is one code the next one is Now, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, services, I we added something. Now, I'll go to student. Yes. Student, I will go to SEO basics, mm. advanced structured data, mm. yes. add new marker. Mm. What did uh, you say? Student. Uh, uh, no, the name, the name will be just a minute. Mm. Is there in the code or what? Yeah, the name is educational organization. Educational organization. That's it. <clears throat> yes. And I'll copy it. Hmm. The first part. Uh, paste it. Apply. Hmm. Yes. And similarly, IT. IT. SEO basics, advanced structure, add markup. And here you are saying educational organization. Yes, both. Okay, and what about the services? Services, we gave a name like that. Do we need to change it or no? Uh, what is it? So... Sir, no, yeah, not an issue. That will, that, that will not uh, impact oh, that, that, is okay. that is the name you want to keep. Yeah. Okay, so then... Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So now in the Google search console. Yes. Uh, so we'll go. I think Jasmith was showing Google. You want me to go or Jasmith you were? Yeah, Jasmith. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. Yes. You'll go to Google search console and whatever you are showing, you want to show? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so discovered currently not indexed. I believe you have understand, right? Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm okay. good there. Yeah. You have to go to performance, yeah? Okay, uh, performance. Uh, this is for the uh, data, like how many clicks and impressions you're getting. Oh. And all those queries are very, uh, not very good. Eh? Nobody is... This is generally your brand or name. Hmm. So these queries are not directly related to your services. Hmm. So now from this, uh, what I need to see. So video page, I think we told that we have, we know the action yeah. item now. So what else do you have to do from this report? Uh, from which report? This GSC? I mean, this search console. So what are the other action items? So mm -hmm. this structured one, uh, I have to do every everywhere, right? I mean, every page we have to create. Yes. Data. Yeah, wherever it is uh, missing, you mm -hmm. have to upload it. 
and uh, what about the other one in the advanced seo uh, structured data then the robots additional robots tags uh, tag you don't have to touch it because it is a very critical thing uh, see this is uh, the result of your robot.txt this page has been blocked manually so there are options no index uh, no crawl so there are some options under the robot.txt sections if you will click any of those sections your page will either be blocked by the crawler or by the google to not be shown on the google search results page so i would So suggest leave it as you it is. yes the pages which you want uh, to be shown on the google and for the users just go don't go to the robot.txt section Oh, okay. So then on the advanced SEO, no more action item, eh? except structured data markup. I, I don't need to do anything. No, uh, for the structured data markup, you have to upload the code. Yeah, I mean, up, apart And from apart that, from the that, other no, sections. nothing. Okay. No. Okay, that is one. And uh, from this, what are the action items? This search Google console. Over here, um, you have to add a content on your blog page. Hmm, that you told the way structured Yeah. way Yeah. categorized And huh? okay yeah, you have to give more information and um, create new categories for your blogs. And okay as for the blogs, you have to uh, create uh, H2 headings and give spaces between the paragraphs and yeah you know yeah keep the format good. Uh, so it will increase your readability as well. right okay what else Uh, apart from this, there is nothing major. Uh, for the video pages, I have explained that you have to either delete that uh, video from this page or replace it with a new right video. yeah okay so no more action item more or less huh? No. okay now a uh, little bit go to the keyword shots right that was okay let me see i have any more questions give me a second write down a few things for today's session some weeks related question i have Let's go. Okay, let's resolve Google search. Okay, so keyword search, right? Uh, keyword search. Uh, let me share my screen very quickly. Yes. <clears throat> so. Keyword search, yeah. So this is the tool, right? The keyword planner. Here, Yes. if I go to discover and if I, I, mean, I have to just change the uh, location, right? That if I want to based on India, then I have to give India. And let's say it is, uh, and make it a specific location. Let's say Dallas, Texas. Okay. Yeah. Can I add multiple location also? I can, right? Yes, you can, but this Google Ads Keyword Planner is uh, generally for the Google Ads. If you're running a Google Ads, then for Google Ads, it will give you a better data. But for organic uh, results, it is best if you use uh, the other tools. And for that, uh, you need to take premiums. You need to pay for those tools. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, so to find the keyword, so here what I'm doing is uh, while writing the blogs, let's say I'm writing uh, ILTS or SAT or you know, travel, right? Uh, so this is what I'm doing actually, I'm getting the result. And you see, I mean, these are the keywords I'm choosing. Some medium range to one. Is that a right way or no? Over here, if you will see, um, it is written top of page bit, top of page bit, high range and low range. So Right. this is for Google ads. So I cannot say if this is a good keyword, if you are doing, going to do an organic SEO. So competition is low based on Google ads. If you, if you will run ads on these keywords, your ad will most probably will come up on top. Yeah, everything is related to ad impression. Uh, year of change, competition, everything is related to Google Ads. Oh, okay. So let's say I'm running a Google ad, so I can use these keywords then.
Yes, you can use these keywords. And I should use the top ones or the medium ones? Uh, you can use the high volume searches one. High volume. Uh, one second. Sorry, yeah. Mm, okay, so you are saying for Google Ads, okay, if it is not Google Ads, let's say I'm, if somebody wants to find us in the Google, may not be through Google Ads, let's say they are searching, you know, let's say Abacus in Dallas, okay? Abacus in Dallas, Abacus classes in Dallas, right? Uh, So, so what key? So I cannot use these keywords. You are saying? I, I, I mean, I should not. Is there is a better, better tool? You are saying? Premium? Yes, there is a better tool, and we have the premium for that tool. Can, can you show me that tool, please? Oh uh, yes. Um, give me a minute. So you guys have the uh, premium membership, right? Eh? Yes. Yes. How, how much it cost? Uh, I think. That is around 10,000 rupees per month. Oh, wow. It's a lot. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so that tool will give you the location specific or what? Maybe you can show you. Yeah, I'll show you. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So this is the tool, uh, SEMrush. You might have heard the name. Yeah. OK. So if I will go to keyword research now, you give IELTS training, right? Hmm. Okay, so I will choose the country, United States. Uh, at uh, in Let's which uh, province? Yeah, Dallas. Okay, give it Dallas. Dallas. Okay. Dallas, Texas. Uh, uh, the last one. Yeah. Okay. Can I uh, write? Uh, for a specific location in country, you can find only one keyword. The premium is not available still for, for a whole, uh, like you cannot utilize for a specific city or area. It is whole country? Yes, yes. as of now, Amrish is providing for a uh, country only. Okay, so for ILX tuition, the, there is very low volume. Uh, you are only getting 20 per hour. Uh, mm. Give oh, Abacus, Abacus, uh... no, I mean, uh, no, 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 just give Abacus, remove everything, Abacus class or Abacus, just Abacus class, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so what, uh... United Over here, States. you can see a competitive keyword to uh, keyword to rank for. You will need well structured and unique content. So even though keyword difficulty is slightly, you know, in the possible category, thirty six percent, and the volume is two hundred and ten searches per month. So what is the right side? India is twenty. Uh, global volume, uh, like in India, Abacus is more popular. So that oh. is why in India the search is twenty three thousand, crossing twenty three thousand. Can you give Russian in... math? Can you can you show give Russian math? Russian math. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 
This is a very so, high competitive keyword. So in US, it is a good popularity. Yeah, it has a good popularity. Yeah, in the yes. US, six point six k. Uh, I see. Yeah, here people do. Can we go? Uh, give one more thing. Kangaroo math. Kangaroo just. Yeah. Yeah, this volume is good. Oh, okay, I see. So but the competition uh, is so, also good. Fifty percent hmm. difficult level. So what does it mean, difficult level? Uh, yeah, it states over here that you will need twenty nine referring domains and optimized content to compete here, not to rank on the first. Uh, com uh, not to rank on the first page, but to compete here, you have to have 29 referring domains. Uh, like you have to get links uh, for the page you want to target. For that particular page, you need to get referring domains for from other websites. Oh, let's see. To get even five ref referring domains, it goes like two to three weeks of work easily if those websites are good so mm -hmm. 29 referring domains you can estimate that it will take some months yes. okay so in us what are the popular math i mean the way i did russian math kangaroo math because i know but if i want to know what are the top math uh, stuff that students look for can i get that here uh, do I you have know. any competition? Yeah, you can in look US into the, them. In US, there are some math competition. That's right. So, I mean, if can I want to know the top subjects that uh, okay. US kids prefer, is there is anything that? Yeah, there is a website called Google Trends. Over here, if you will search, I'm not sure if we will get the. Hmm. Um, can you give me an example like what is it that you are trying to search i mean let's say what i said no the here people here kids go look for russian math maybe chinese math maybe vedic math so what they look i mean what are the most searched uh, math courses like that Okay, Russian School of Mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Russian School of Math, Dublin, Russian Math, near me. Uh, so, so basically, you need to know some context. Then only. You'll yes, yes. We can't just uh, search on we the pieces of. We cannot find it. That all. Okay, got it. So you guys are preferring to use this. Uh, so if you compare this tool with the Google keyword search, it would be different. Uh, this tool, this one. Hmm. Uh, no, this is just to get the information at. Uh, oh no no, no 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 not trend. No, I'm talking about the key search tool, whatever you are. No no, me. that is uh, both of those uh, tool are different from each other. Google search uh, keyword planner is basically for if you're running ads on Google. For that, you need to. Hmm. I got it. Do your uh, research. Let's say, if I want to compare, no, let's say. Russia for your or... business, uh, as yeah. you're going to do organic SEO, then SEMrush is the one for you, not the Google Keyword Planner. Oh, and uh, what are the keywords you're getting for kangaroo math? Uh, what are the keywords you're getting? Uh, we have other related variations math kangaroo, math kangaroo 2023, math kangaroo past papers. Uh, what is math kangaroo? When are math kangaroo results announced? How to check math kangaroo's results? How to practice for math kangaroo? So these are the and, and if you go to if you go to Google keyword planner, what do you get? Can I just give a quick comparison? How it is different? The output.
so when i'm writing the blogs no i should uh, use the keywords from the this uh, tool right which tool i mean this tool this uh, keyword planner or whatever you are showing no 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 okay. keyword planner uh, you have to you don't have to use this this keyword planner is solely for google ads google ads okay no you are talking about the tool no what is the name of the tool uh, rush uh, semrush semrush so semrush uh, whatever the keywords it will give i should include those in my blogs right yes so that's how we uh, we should write the blog yes generally like uh, we take a lot of things in consideration when doing a research it is just not one uh, you know tool we have other resources and other strategies to do our keyword research we do competition keyword research as well what our competition is doing and what keywords they are searching for oh okay so, so we not... got yeah so there are a lot of uh, tips and tricks to do when doing seo yeah. okay so over we have kangaroo maths competition math kangaroo kangaroo math contest so over here we are getting a lot of contest and competition keywords you can see mm -hmm. contest mm -hmm. 2023 uh, then again competition 2022 kangaroo kangaroo competition but tell me one thing google ad also whenever you are searching you no know, in the google so then yes. your blog will or your website will come first or uh, i mean where it will position that will depend upon what the keyword you are choosing keyword for. and how much um, well optimized is your page and how many referring domains you are getting from other website how is your technical seo so all the factors what we have talked about say, till now in our 3 to 4 meetings all of those factors matters right. no that i got yeah. what i'm saying is uh, i mean you said that google keyword planner only for google ads but that yes. is also the google search right and that is and whatever the Samras or whatever you are saying, I that will, is also I will, Google search. Right? I think I got your question. So over here, I have searched for marketing courses, Correct. and this mm. this is the result of Google ads. Up, yeah, yeah. Right. Upgrad is running ads on Google. Mm. Uh, Talent Edge as well. Growth School. Correct. Then uh, Die. What is this? Whatever this is, this is also you know running ads on Google. So four mm. of these, uh, you know, they have, uh, they must have. Um, and these Use are the Google Planner, right? These, this is the result of Google Planner, and this is the result of organic SEO. Oh. So every time I will click on their link, they will be on their end. Some amount will be deducted from their account. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now, and this is the landing page of their Google Ads, and for this, you have to. create a separate landing page you cannot use it is not generally suggested to use the existing pages of your website oh really? so oh. and this is uh, works on a bidding uh, auction type kind of thing uh, whoever oh. will pay more and whoever has the most optimized page for the google ads that page will rank uh, higher it doesn't mean if uh, you know all four of this have are paying for every click but that doesn't mean every four of them will come up on the uh, you know at the first uh, rank uh, upgrad has the most optimized page and uh, giving a good amount of money that is why it is at the top money is not the big factor like whoever will pay more it depends on several factors as well okay 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 got it yeah and from here this one uh, dot this is from where organic uh, seo results start mm hmm okay, okay. got those it. who are not uh, you know familiar how google search results show so they will go and click here or at the top of the four results and one of them will probably convert into a customer they will not even come down and see what other results are there i see okay Makes sense. Thank you. Okay, so 
that we cover i have one more question okay so my next question is uh the office optimization uh i have to buy some subscription eh? so that they include our links no 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 off page uh, you can do it manually there are base there are types of backlinks um, there are most properly as of now we have guest posting and blog posting websites and then there is bookmarking then there is business listings as well can you show me uh, one by one or this is too short time maybe uh, just some basic idea you can give maybe next okay. class week mm, i will show you give me a minute i have to stop my screen because of the data mm -hmm. hey quick question in the weeks let's say i published a publish something now if i want to go back to the earlier version is there is any version control that i can go back to my earlier one somehow does me do you know uh sorry can you can uh, come again with that point let's say in the weeks i publish something now right now which mm -hmm. is live now mm -hmm. if i want to go back to the earlier one is there is any version mm -hmm. control or anything yeah there is an option uh, for history uh, and i can go back to the earlier version yes yes you want to show quickly or you uh, want me to share my screen yeah sure you can okay uh, okay <clears throat> let's say this is my current version now right i published it yeah and so, i want to yeah go back to some earlier version okay so go to settings i think yeah can you please click on settings hmm. mm. uh, okay no in setting uh, site click on uh, site okay now you can check site history site history where is that site history yes this one okay go to site history <clears throat> okay no now you can see all the revisions let's say just now i did it 1125 let's say i want to publish this one so i'll go here uh -huh, yes yeah like you can restore this version oh i can just store huh? so yeah. it will override my current one yes yes oh okay okay this is okay good thank you hmm. i mean in some critical situation you can always go back then yes and how long it maintains i think it is a Uh, I, uh, I think uh, in in option uh, there is option uh, in above you can see all revisions yeah so but i see only uh, four ha huh. oh four hmm 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 yes restoring the original website no 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 there are more okay. actually yes 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 there are more hmm the same seven yeah 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 it has hmm good 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 okay Yeah, just uh, just made. Sorry, I think we. No issues. No issues. Right. Exactly. No. Okay, I will share my screen. Hmm. So I'm gonna show you the most recent one, the one we did just yesterday. One of our team members did it for one of our client. So this is how a guest post work. So we published a content on. A different website. It's businessbro. dot com, and we linked it to our client website. So this is how. So this how, is how I mean, how you are writing it? They gave you permission to write some blog or yes, what? Yes, yes, yes. We have the permission to publish content on different websites. So you have to buy that domain or what? Buy them or pay uh, them? Oh, like uh, yes, we have to pay for each of the submissions. Oh. 
Okay. So there example, are eight effects. In India, yes. if you yeah. there is a website that uh, dial or let's say Sulekha or uh, or what is that dial? Uh, there is a website. No, in India you can get in anything and everything in that website. Oh, oh, um, yeah. I don't know. That. It is a business directory kind of thing, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm. Dial up or something. Dial Karo, something like that. Just dial. Just dial. Just dial. Just dial. Exactly. Yeah. So that is the kind of the same thing that you have no, to pay. No, just dial is for business directories. It is a different kind of website, and this is a different kind of website. This is a blogging website. Uh, yeah, like the oh. admins allow us. The like we have to pay. Uh, to the admin to become an author for this website and then we can uh, submit blogs so uh, what of the i mean this website is famous or what if people uh, actually are... it depends on yeah there are some metrics uh, like we have to check da of those website we have to check uh, the spam score the spam score should be as uh, less as possible also we need to check the traffic of this website like mm. if they don't get any traffic on their own website uh, that won't help us uh, <clears throat> you know to get uh, traffic on our website so there are few metrics that we have to check uh, before we post something on uh, guest posting sites uh, so do you have a list what are the guest posting sites yes what are those this is one eh? uh, IP. Uh, yeah this is one uh, <clears throat> also one more there is a sohago uh, dot com um, uh, jasmit you can uh, open that i website, can sohago. just show you a glimpse of yeah. how many mm -hmm. guest posting you can just see the generated url and this is the website so currently we are at 448 so you can Oh, there are four hundred and forty website. I mean, guess, guess which we have just worked for this particular client. Yeah. For, I mean, four hundred and forty-eight website you have posted. Uh, uh, no, actually, yes. it's not all the. Uh, actually, the four hundred and forty-four are the posts we have done. Yes. Uh, the websites uh, we might repeat. It depends on uh, how we get the website. Like uh, someday we don't get good websites. So we do repeat the websites and that is not an issue. <clears throat> oh, so you are continuously posting. That's what you are saying. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So that is basically the off page linking or the back link. Eh? That yes. Link. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so then what are the requirements i need to have the enough uh, data uh, blogs right i mean the write-ups so every day what uh, i'll write for that also for, need to... for backlinking right uh -huh. no actually for backlinking we prefer chat gpt is uh, content only so uh, our team only generate the content and uh. then uh, they post on these sites oh so all these yeah. sites uh, somehow, I mean, is there any free site uh, or everything is paid? Uh, actually, there are free sites, but they, you know, don't provide do follow backlinks. They uh, don't. They have uh, been spammed, so it will mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> it will not create a good impression in front of Google of your website. So it will um, ultimately bring down the results instead of uh, helping oh. it. Really? Like there are two types of links, do follow and no follow. So uh, there is a platform called Medium. Okay, that is also a blogging website, but Medium do not provide you the do follow link. So uh, what is do follow that it will uh, pass the link juice to your website. Okay, then only mm. it will help to, you know, um, rank your website and it will help to uh, generate more uh, organic traffic for your website. Uh, Even only if you have a do follow web uh, do follow backlink from a website, only then Google will consider it as one referring domain. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, we have only one minute. 
uh, for uh, let's close for today i think i'm good for now hey uh in the day mode uh so now in the weeks i had a day mode on so when it is needed and when we need to off it okay mode. like whenever yeah so dev mode is also you know uh, a, a like a different thing in uh, wix like wix is a web uh, wix is a platform where you can just simply drag and drop the elements mm -hmm. and you can edit your website so like developer dev mode is a advanced thing in wix so if there is a, any feature you want to add additional in your website and it oh, is yeah. you know not available in wix drag and drop uh, elements okay so then you have to add the code yes okay so for example i once uh, embedded the whatsapp in my wix and that time i think i pasted some code i searched it in google and they gave me a portion of code um sorry what uh in the google let's say somebody go directly to a whatsapp from my mm -hmm. yeah, so that time oh, i yeah. got a piece of code and i embedded into it so maybe that time i enabled it probably yes 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 okay. there is a third party tool like right. uh, you have to get the code and you can embed yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. that time. okay yeah. okay thank you so much guys so maybe we'll meet again i'll i'll Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Have Thank a nice you. day. Yeah, sure. Thank yeah. you.